Hello there and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason This is going to be a hypnosis session Just for you And hmm, Just let you know that The session is sponsored by hypnosismp3store.com Where you can get all your hypnosis sessions free to download as mp3s hundreds in fact so I hope you're well hope your day's been good and this is going to be a continuation of my past work it's going to be another focus on loosening limitations loosening your limitations because the more you hold on to them the tighter they get the stronger they get the more limiting they become I'll give you an example so you have a, a, a small child um, three years old, four years old, five years old it might be your child, might be your grandchild might be your niece, your nephew, who knows. And you take this child to like a, a fun fairground, you know, where they can climb on climbing frames and interact with other children, to have the time of their life, you know, but they have a bit of freedom. They know you're there, so they can look over, see that you're there, sitting there, maybe chatting to the other parents, maybe taking photographs, whatever. But they feel safe because they know you're there. But they also have some freedom to express themselves, to socially interact with new people, to do something different, to be flexible. To learn new skills, to expand as a person. Now, if you took that child to the same place and just held him or her in your arms keeping them lovely and safe and just sat there for two hours holding on to them not letting them go not letting them go and play with their friends new friends that they might make not allowing them to express themselves to enjoy themselves to experience Experience in new things to grow as a person to develop social skills and learn how to interact with others and by holding on to that child even though it may be out of safety out of love out of kindness, from a good heart. Are you not limiting that child in quite a big way? And wouldn't that child be affected by that? Especially if you did that all the time, stopping that child from experiencing those things that 
he or she needs to experience to grow as a person, to develop their mind and their emotions. Because this is what we do to ourselves. We hold on to ourselves because we want to protect ourselves, which is natural, which is healthy to want to protect ourselves. But there's a limit. And if you go over that limit and you never let go, never allow yourself to just do things, to just experience things, new things, you limit yourself, you feel uptight, limited, unable to really express who you are as a person. And the more limited you become, the more limited you try to be towards others, wanting them to also feel as limited as you. And then you may not even be aware of it because you've forgotten what it's like to let go. And run free. To be free. To be you. To enjoy. To let go. To truly believe that you can do things. To truly believe that you have the ability to accomplish so much more than you previously given yourself credit for. To realize that you're worth being happy. And as you loosen that tree, that tree of limitation, your life also loosens. Your thinking changes. Your future changes. Because how you perceive your present affects how your future will be. Thoughts now, actions, results later. becomes the future of your dreams if you choose to take that decision and make that choice to loosen those limitations day by day giving yourself flexibility in your thinking Releasing, healing into your body and mind. Realizing that life is so much more than your limitations. Enjoy the rest of the day feeling wonderful.